The Syrian Defense Ministry says one Syrian soldier was killed and three others were wounded in an Israeli air attack on the Syrian province of Homs on Wednesday. The, that's according to the Syrian Defense Ministry in a short statement on its Facebook page. The ministry said the attack targeted a communications tower and caused some material losses. The incident came days after Syrian state media reported that Syrian air defenses intercepted an Israeli missile attack above the Homs countryside, wounding six Syrian soldiers. Israel has mounted attacks for several years on what it has described as Iran-linked targets in Syria. Iran-backed forces, including Lebanon's Hezbollah, deployed to help President Bashar al-Assad in the Syrian conflict that erupted in 2011. The House's, uh, U.S. House of Representatives Committee investigating the January 6th riot at the U.S. Capitol building has issued a subpoena into a, to a former Justice Department lawyer. Jeffrey Clark positioned himself as an ally of Donald Trump and aided the Republican president's efforts to challenge the results of the 2020 election. The subpoena to Clark comes amid signs of a rapidly escalating congressional inquiry. At least three of the officials who were involved in organizing the rally that preceded the riot have handed over documents in response to subpoenas from that committee. The committee has scheduled a deposition for October 29th and demanded documents from Clark by the same date. A lawyer for Clark has declined to comment. The World Health Organization Wednesday announced 26 scientists have been named to a new advisory body devoted to understanding the origins of COVID-19 and to look into other future possible outbreaks. The group includes scientists from the United States and Canada, uh, I'm sorry, United States and China, as well as 24 other nations. It is set to consider not only the big unresolved question of the COVID-19 pandemic, that is, how did it first infect humans, but will also establish a framework for dealing with future outbreaks. The announcement of the group comes more than six months after the conclusion of a WHO-led mission to China to explore origins of the pandemic. In that mission, a group of scientists visited sites in Wuhan, China, the known epicenter of the outbreak. The resulting report from that mission became mired in controversy for its inconclusive results which WHO leaders themselves blamed on a lack of cooperation from China. The United States is expected to announce or has announced it uh, is reopening land borders with Canada and Mexico to fully vaccinated travelers beginning in November. With the exception of essential travel, such as trade, U.S. borders have been shut down at all automobile, train and ferry crossings since March of 2020, this due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Of course, officials say the newly opened borders apply only to visitors who are vaccinated. Unvaccinated travelers will continue to be banned from crossing the borders with Mexico or Canada. The lifting of restrictions for non-essential travelers at land borders comes less than a month after the Biden administration announced it would allow fully vaccinated foreign citizens to fly into the country beginning next month. An exact date for either of those new, new rules to take effect has not been announced. Police in southeastern Norway say they've arrested a man who killed several people and wounded others in the town of Kongsberg Wednesday evening. Local police said there was only one attacker and his motive is not yet known. Police said the suspect had been taken to a police station in the nearby town of Drammen, but it gave no other details about the man. Local TV news reported that the man also had a knife or other weapons. A helicopter and bomb disposal team were also reportedly sent to the scene. The wounded have been taken to medical care, but police have not released the number of victims or the details about their condition and police were urging people in the area to stay at home.
Hi, thank you for watching. I hope the videos are useful for you. Please subscribe to my channel using the button below.